Hey everybody, today we're getting into planes, trains, and automobiles from 1987, and honestly I don't really know much about it, but uh, from the movie poster, it's, uh, I, I know it's Steve Martin and John Candy, I love both of them, but I can't really place what I've seen Steve Martin in except for only murders in the buildings, like I know he's been a comic for, like, ever, right, but I don't recall any of the stuff I've seen, maybe... Did he do the the Beethoven movies? Because I remember seeing those when I was like super young. Yeah, maybe let me know what some other movies of his that I should check out. But I love John Candy too. I've seen Uncle Buck and The Great Outdoors. Those two were amazing. You gotta love John Candy. <laughs> like, But in the poster, he looks super happy. Steve Martin looks terrified. And just from the name, I'm guessing they're going to be on a plane, a train, and in cars. I don't know. Let's just get into it and find out. At the end, if you like it, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And to catch my other videos, uh, make sure to subscribe. All right, let's do this. Ah, this is why everyone was doing this video around Thanksgiving. Looking at it at different angles is going to change how it looks. Six o'clock. What time is it now? Isn't that Ferris Bueller's dad? Oh my god. Come on, say something. <laughs> Solid hours of staring at the material to decide to reconvene after the holidays. Are you serious? You didn't even pick one? Why don't you wait and go out with me on the 8th? We're never going to get a cab at this hour. I told Susan I'd be home by 9. You'll never make the 6. <laughs> Are all those people wanting a cab? How would you ever catch a cab when there's that many people wanting one? Kevin Bacon? Uh. <laughs> oh, it's on. <laughs> oh, you got too much luggage there, Steve. Oh, get out of the way, dude. Oh, saving grace. Oh, shit. He almost got his head run over. Oh, you don't have to be a dick about it. Oh, fuck. Excuse me. I'm wondering if I could appeal to your good nature and ask you to let me have it. I don't have a good nature. Come on! Oh. Can I offer you ten dollars for it? Huh. I'll take fifty. <laughs> While they're negotiating, he's someone's taking it. Anyone who'd pay fifty dollars for a cab certainly pay seventy-five. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a dick! Seventy-five. You're a thief. It's the same truck that tripped him up too. That's gonna be John Candy, isn't it? He just got fleeced for 75 bucks. Why don't you take your money back from that guy? I <laughs> gotta love that. All right, you son of a bitch, this is my cab. It is him too. <laughs> oh shit, his stuff's getting run over now? This is not a good day. <laughs> Oh, dude. Two minutes to your flight. All of that is delayed. <laughs> He's sitting across from him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Canadian Mounted? <laughs> what the fuck book is that?
I know you, don't I? I hailed a cab on Park Avenue this afternoon, and uh, before I could get in it, you stole it. Yeah. Come to think of it, it was awful easy to get a cab during rush hour. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> I am sorry. I had no idea that was your cab. I knew I knew you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help you. I have a first class ticket. You have a coach seat assignment. Hi, Larry. Hi, Liz. Here, okay, or how about over there? Oh, here, there, anywhere's fine. Pardon me. What the fuck? I want a seat in first class where I was booked and ticketed over a month ago. Look, I have had just. I'd be pissed too. Oh, you had about enough of me. Oh, you're about to get kicked off this plane. I can't wait to see what happens next. Is this a coincidence or what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This guy's bad day just keeps getting worse. Fuck. So they were flying to Chicago? From where? I sell shower curtain rings. Uh oh. Best in the world. And you are? Uh, Neil Page. Neil Page. Pleased to meet you, Neil Page. Why are you chewing the gum like that? What, what, what are you doing? Oh, that feels good. Oh, God, I'm telling you. One of those people? Ooh. Come on. Socks, too? Oh. What are you doing? That feels better. What are you doing? Oh, my. How long is this flight? Six bucks in my right nut says we're not landing in Chicago. What? <laughs> Thought you were sleeping. Where were they even flying from? Hello. Hi. I'm in Wichita. Wichita, Kansas? Whoa. We couldn't land in Chicago. I, I don't understand what Wichita has to do with a snowstorm in Chicago. We took off from New York. They closed Chicago and landed here. Oh, from New York. Neil. How long is I, I didn't think Chicago and New York were that far apart from each other. What's the flight situation? We'd have more luck playing pickup sticks with our butt cheeks than we will get in a flight out of here before. What? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Yeah, but by the time the airline cancels this flight, you'd have more of a chance to find a three legged ballerina than you would a hotel room. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to announce that we're canceling flight 909 due to severe weather in Chicago. Destination nowhere. Well, welcome to Wichita. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he happy about it? As soon as we got off the plane, you called home. I called the Braidwood Inn. I missed that one. I know the manager pretty well. I sold him some rings for his curtains. If you want to pick up the cab fare, I'll make sure you get a room for the night. <laughs> hey, that took a pretty good deal. Yeah, 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 sure, great. All right, grab it in. Awesome. Will you? <laughs> Try lugging this thing around New York City. <laughs> <laughs> Should try tripping over it. Stick with Is me. Is it a dump? At, at least it's a room. It's better than the airport floor. Honestly. Gus, I told my friend here uh, you'd be able to fix him up with a room. You have a major credit card? Do you still honor those uh, discount credit cards for the rooms? Uh, it's going to get mixed up, isn't it? I must have half your flight booked in already. Oh, boy. There you are. Last room in the complex. <laughs> Sharing a room. One bed. Yeah. He's not a small man either. He's going to be taking up a lot of that bed. <laughs> he can't stop looking at the bed. The shower rings. I've never actually seen one of those in real life. <laughs> Oh my god. What the hell? 
Oh my god. That's all he left him? Ew. Oh, gross. That's disgusting. God, Steve Martin's a hairy dude. <laughs> that would be so weird trying to sleep next to a guy that you just met that day. I had no idea those beer cans were going to blow like that. Left him on a vibrating bed. What did you think was going to happen? It's been a long day. It just, it just didn't occur to me. Beer cans exploded on the bed? I used to have to sleep in a puddle of beer. Oh. What are you doing? That didn't sound right. Um. Oh my god. This is disgusting, dude. Seriously? Why? What? If I don't clear my sinuses, I'll snore all night. You're not a very tolerant person. <laughs> You're like the most annoying person in the world. Screw you. You spill beer all over the bed. You smoke. You mess up the bathroom. Well, who let you stay in the room? I even let you pay for it. <laughs> Having a perfectly nice trip until you walked into my life. Who was that who talked my ear off on the plane? Who was that? I'm curious. Didn't you notice on the plane when you started talking, eventually I started reading a vomit bag? Didn't that give you some sort of clue? Damn. Your stories have none of that. You're not even amusing accidentally. Dude, that's a little harsh. Seems to be really taking that to heart, too. You want to hurt me? Go right ahead if it makes you feel any better. Well, you think what you want about me. I'm not changing. I like, I like me. My wife likes me. My customers like me. Cause I'm the real article. What you see is what you get. It's fair, it's just super annoying and most of the time. <laughs> is he gonna end up staying? <laughs> yeah, he's staying. Please tell me his sinuses are clear now, though. Someone seriously busting in? What the fuck? Dude, how can you be so messy? How's the Cracker Jacks in the bed? Oh, are they spooning? <laughs> He's nuzzling him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Del, huh? why did you kiss my ear? <laughs> why are you holding my hand? Yeah. Where's your other hand? Between two pillows. Nope. Dark pillows? <laughs> Oh boy. See that Bears game last week? Yeah, hello game, hello game. <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me? Oh no, that's his underwear. Come on. Hey Neil, take my socks out of the sink if you're gonna brush your teeth, all right? Spending Thanksgiving in Wichita. I've got a family waiting for me. I'll get home. Mm. Not by airplane. Smoking while people are eating around you? Anyway, you slice it. The odds are we're going to be having our turkey roll right here. Can't believe it went down like that. Well, how the hell else can we get home? Bert Dingman. A buddy of mine. He works for the railroad. I sold them all their uh, shower curtain rings. He owes me a favor. <laughs> I'll get that. That's the easy part. His cash is gone too. What? 
You know goddamn well what. Oh, you think she took it? I had over seven hundred dollars in here. Seven hundred dollars? I didn't take your money. Well, I had over seven hundred dollars in here, and maybe when you went into it, you had to take count it. There's two hundred and sixty-three dollars in there. There's a dollar more, then you can call me a thief. Someone made off with like a grand, like nine hundred bucks. One hundred and sixty-three, right? Nothing. Empty. What? <laughs> we were robbed. <laughs> Just get me to the train station, and I'll take care of everything else. Oh, I got that all covered. Gus's son's gonna pick us up. Uh, that's. This is not him, is it? Yeah, it's, it is. You guys are in the back, because that truck's full. I'm on. What? What's that? Is that our curtain fell? Yeah. Yeah. This is Neil Page. From Chicago. Oh. oh, no, no. Oh, but that's disgusting. Oh. What is with that? I'm to drive you to Wichita to catch a train. Yeah, we'd appreciate it. Train don't run out of Wichita. People train runs out of Stubville. That'll be fine. That'll be, That'll be just fine. How do... Leave it be. Get your lazy behind out here and put that trunk up in the back. Are you kidding me? We're, we've got it. It's very heavy. She's short and skinny, but she's strong. What? The fuck? We've got it. We've got we've it already. Got it. It's done. <laughs> Oh my god. How much further? 30 miles. How is it that isn't Wichita like a like a major city? Oh. What the fuck? I'm in the glove. In the glove. Oh, just nipped a little part. Yeah. What is wrong with that dog? They definitely didn't go to the right place. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are they, it's just the right place. They uh, didn't have two together. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, been interesting. <laughs> that's the understatement of the year. Yeah, that's for sure. That's not the end of it. <laughs> Something's gonna happen. I've never actually traveled like to a fireplace on train. Just like a couple cities over. Is it breaking down? Oh fuck dude. You just can't win. Oh my gosh. Everyone's just getting out and walking. There aren't even roads around because you're on a train track. Oh, uh, you're gonna have to help him. Walk a mile, mile and a half to the highway. The trucks will meet you, and I'll take you to Jefferson City. A mile, a mile and a half? Oh man. Yeah. That's gonna be a long walk. Holy fuck. You're in a pretty lousy mood, huh? Yeah. Ever traveled by bus before? Your mood's probably not going to improve much. <laughs> oh gosh. Again, I've only ever been like across city buses, not state buses, or in my case, provinces. This is probably as good a time as any to tell you this. Our tickets are only good to St. Louis. What? Look, it's Thanksgiving. How do you do, ma'am? My name is Del Griffin, and I've got the deal of a lifetime for you. This is your Diane Sawyer autographed earring. What? Oh, God, he's just selling shower rings? They are filled with helium, so they're very light. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm Marty Page, and I'm thankful that my dad's coming home for Thanksgiving. Hmm. Is he going to make it, though? So far, he's just made it to St. Louis. You know something? It makes you look a little older, too. Oh my gosh. You could pass for 18 or 19. Yeah. I've been spending too much time away from home. I haven't been home in years. What, seriously? Years? 
No, it's a figure of speech. You know, I'm on the road so much. It's like not being there. Yeah. When we put our heads together, you know, we really, we really gotten nowhere. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. That's not true, Neil. It really isn't true. No, I really think we'd get to where we're going a lot faster if uh, we were alone. Uh, you're just trying to ditch him. Okay. He knows it. I've got to get going now, so if you'll excuse me. Um, you hurt his feelings. Good luck to you, and uh, I hope you get home soon. See yeah, sure you will. You still don't know that you guys have mixed up the credit cards, though. So this is not going to be good. It's a white nigga, Tom Conspiracy 35. What? Oh, so you was able to get a rental? Where's the car? Seriously? What the fuck? Hey, hey, hey. Oh no, he's gonna walk back too? Oh my gosh. Fuck, what else can go wrong for this guy? Oh my gosh. Let's get to walking. He's going down, isn't he? <laughs> oh, saved it. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Across runways? Oh, Jean Marie, you're a stitch. <laughs> no, mom's gonna do the turkey. Uh, he's not messing around. Look at him. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> Welcome to Marathon. May I help you? <laughs> you can start by wiping that fucking dumbass smile off your. Whoa! Then you can give me a fucking automobile. Wow! I really don't care for the way you're speaking to me. Yeah, that's a little rough. I don't care for the way your company left me in the middle of fucking nowhere with fucking keys to a fucking car that isn't fucking there. And I really didn't care to fucking walk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I want a fucking car right fucking now. It's not gonna work for you, pal. I see your rental agreement. I threw it away. Oh no! Oh boy, what? You're fucked. <laughs> oh my god. This guy's gonna snap. If that wasn't snapping, it's he's like on the edge. Yeah, where are you going? Chicago. Chicago? <laughs> he's just gonna take a cab. Why don't you try the airlines? A lot faster and you get a free meal. If I wanted a joke, I'd follow you into the John and watch you take a leak. <laughs> are you gonna help me or are you gonna stand there like a slab of meat with mittens? Yeah. You saw that coming? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, and it's Dell. <laughs> <laughs> what is your problem? Can't you oh. see we got an injured man down on the street? That you punched in the face? I want you to help him up. No! My pleasure. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit! <laughs> well, at least Dell's got a ride. Are you alright? I've never seen a guy get picked up by his testicles before. <laughs> Do you have any idea how glad I am I didn't kill you? you have any idea how glad I'd be if you had. <laughs> this voice is hot. I got a car, no sweat at all. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep. Oh, all right. Sleep. I'm putting my wallet in the glove compartment. Don't let me forget it. All right. So they're gonna forget it. For sure, then. The band was jumping. The people, too. I mess around. So this is where Ted, too, got it. Oh my god, dude. In the snow, too? Come on. Put your hands on the wheel, dude. 
Are they gonna crash like they did in Dead 2 as well? That was Ray Charles doing the mess around. Okay, no no crash though, that's good. Coming up on half past the or here it comes. Yeah. Oh, it's you no know, crash, it's gonna be a fire. Oh no god no! Oh my gosh! Just just wake him up. Just just wake him up. <laughs> Dude. No. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, oh shit is right, dude. How are you gonna steer? Are you serious? Oh, I can't, can't believe he's holding it straight. No, not anymore. At least there's an exit. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Okay. It could have been a hell of a lot worse than that. What's happening? <laughs> oh, we, we almost hit a deer, that's all. Are you all right? <laughs> no. Yes, I'm fine. Yes. Almost died. Uh, it's just the wrong way, pal. My God. <laughs> This is not gonna be good. Holy shit, look at that guy on the wrong side of the highway. Hey! Hey! You don't realize that he's on the wrong on the fire in the back too, it's starting to smoke. Oh fuck, they're coming in quick too. What? Oh no, all this stuff! Did it take the trunk with it? Oh, this isn't so bad. I, I, I thought it'd be a lot worse than this. They'll be able to It's still pretty bad. Wow! <laughs> I mean, that was close. You're seriously just gonna try and laugh that off? Oh. And of course, Dell's stuff is okay. But Neil's stuff is not. <laughs> oh, and his wallet's in the glove compartment too. With 102 miles still to go. <laughs> Can't help but laugh. What? <laughs> You finally did it to yourself. <laughs> I mean, good luck turning the car. <laughs> oh, it's on his credit card too, isn't it? How could you rent the thing anyway without a credit card? Well, uh, I had your credit card. Your, uh, diners Club card wound up in my wallet. You stole it. Not exactly. You stole no, my I card. My life. I, I knew you stole it. I got, it got mixed up at the hotel. You didn't steal it. I thought I, you put it there. Why would he put it there? Kindness? <laughs> Kindness? You stole it! Give it back! I can't! Why not? Because... <laughs> because I put the card back in your wallet! Oh, fuck. And it's in the glove compartment. Are you mad at me? Oh! <laughs> oh, they somehow put it out and drove it away. Are you for real? You, know, you could have killed me, slugging me in the gut when I wasn't ready. That's how Houdini died, you know. <laughs> that can't be true. One good thing about it, with all this fresh air, we're gonna sleep like babies. <laughs> Are they gonna have to share a bed again? 
How's your drink? Good. Go for another one? Ah, <laughs> uh, a little Mexican trip. There you go. Come <laughs> on up. Let's get wasted together. You know, when I'm dead and buried, all I'm gonna have around here to prove that I was here was some shower curtain rings that didn't fall down. Great legacy, huh? At the very least, you've got a woman you love to grow old with, right? Right? To the wives. To the wives! For some reason, when he said, I haven't been home in years, I think he was actually serious. Well... Did she pass away or something? As much trouble as I've had on this little journey, I'm sure one day I'm gonna look back and laugh. <laughs> For sure, yeah. Give it a good push now. All right. <laughs> they got plowed in? Oh my god. Push, put your up in I am, I am. The wheels aren't even turning at all. Up and down, up and down. Here okay. we go, ready? Reverse! Oh. <laughs> They're just gonna take off! <laughs> they must have just been in park before. Oh my gosh. Go! Oh yeah, and they didn't leave any ID or anything. Because they paid cash. <laughs> oh god, look at the tires wobbling. <laughs> This is insane. Keep on oh my god. Were they speeding too? Oh my god. What is this cop gonna say when he sees the condition of the car? Oh, great, great. Cop, how fast are you going? I can't tell the speedometer. Oh. Top of the morning, officer. Hi. <laughs> Is there something I can help you with? A lot. You have any idea how fast you were going? No. Our speedometer's melted, and as a result, it's very hard to say with any degree of accuracy exactly uh, how fast we were going. 78 miles an hour. 78, huh? <laughs> do you feel this vehicle is safe for highway travel? Yes, I do. <laughs> I can't let you go ahead in this vehicle. Oh. Oh, my God. Did they get arrested? Or did just Dell get arrested? Well, our ship has come in. I tell you I was gonna get you home. Oh, uh, the driver's a little freaky about people riding up in his cab. So we can't sit there. Oh no, you're gonna be sitting with the cows? Okay. Beach walking, huh? I thought it was just cows, it's just burgers. Or cheese. There we are, Chicago. Believe it? <laughs> it's been a hell of a trip. Yeah. Hey, next time, let's go first class, all right? Oh, God, I hope there is the next time. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean. This you? Are they, are they really parting ways right here? Yeah. It's been great meeting you, Neil. It really has. Happy holidays. Thank you. Who's going in for the hug? Say hello to Marie for me. I feel like I know her. Yeah. Oh, she passed away, didn't she? So long. You've escaped him. Yeah, he was telling the truth there. You went back for him? Yeah. Del, what are you doing here? You said you were going home. What are you doing here? Yeah. I don't have a home. Marie's been dead for eight years. Fuck, I thought so. Nice. At least you meet the family now. Hi, kiddo. Daddy! <laughs> hey, I'd uh, like you to be a friend of mine. Hello, oh, Mr. Griffith. Hello, Mrs. Page. Oh. 
ends on his face. Wow, so that's it for planes, trains, and automobiles. And everything that could go wrong with that definitely did. It just kept snowballing out of control until they were eventually driving down the highway in a car that was burnt out. I'm surprised, like, how did they even put that out? How is it still drivable? <laughs> it definitely was not safe. Holy fuck. And Dell is gonna be like the most annoying human being on the planet, but not on purpose, you know? Like he's he's just being himself. <laughs> Good god. You how does one person make such a mess? It's such a small amount of time, it's it's insanity. But they eventually got home and the happy ending at the end, and I had a feeling this from the start, like I had a feeling that is, well, not from the start, from when he said he hasn't been home in years. I thought I thought he was being serious. And then after that, I started having suspicions of she, she was dead. But still a great movie. Um, let me know if, what movies of Steve Martin I should be watching because I honestly, I think I've only ever seen him in Only Murders in the Building. But I know that he's been in movies for like a long long time like since the 80s at least or definitely before then too right like and same with john candy like i've seen uncle buck but i like i've i know i've seen it but i don't remember the whole all the details and everything so maybe i'll give that a rewatch but i have seen the great outdoors like a bunch so let me know what movies are theirs i should be checking out um if you liked it make sure to give me a thumbs up and to catch my other videos make sure to subscribe Thanks for coming out, guys. Have a great day.